guys, this is Sash over here. Today I will be unboxing Osmobile 2 by DJI. This is how the box looks like. So, Osmobile 2 is a gimbal, and the gimbal is a device for a phone which stabilizes the video taken out of the phone. So, by stabilizing, I mean there are no shakes. So, yeah, you get a cinema grade footage, shake free. So, yeah, this, is, this will be my first unboxing video. Hope you guys like it. So, without wasting further time, let's get started. This is how the device looks like from the front. MRP is $11,999 and its country of origin is China. I got it for $9,100 from a shop called Photo Center near Church Gate. And warranty is 1 year. There is DJI written on it, that's it. So, cut it out here. On this side as well. So let's open this box. I mean, you guys will be watching for the first time as I will be. Ah, babe. So this is what you get with this, a manual, let's place it over here, whoa cool looking box right, so let's open this, this is how it looks on the inside, yeah. uh, this is where you place your phone, standard clamps to hold on your phone, a joystick, record button, power come mode button, Micro USB port to charge your gimbal. Uh, the batteries don't come off from this. A zoom toggle. Here we have a micro USB, sorry, a USB A type port to charge your phones. But I think it's impractical because the battery in this gimbal is less than the battery in my phone. So it will practically drain the batteries from the gimbal, right? Yeah. So from the back, it looks like this. There's a knob. This knob is bigger than the other one. to power on and I think it's dead so we keep it charging so yeah it's a light box uh, I think it's made from styrofoam 3d printed and we get micro USB cable other than the box we get this quick start guide a warranty card and the safety precautions guideline so here is electronic weighing machine and I've set the unit to kilograms the least count is one gram and I've tied it to zero so now I'm going to weigh this gimbal and see how much does it weigh actually so it comes out to be 490 grams 5 grams more than the written weight in the booklet so that's cool so to use this gimbal you need to install the DJ Go app from Play Store or the iOS store and Apple App Store. Uh, it supports Android 4.4 or later or iOS 10.0. So yeah, let's install this. It's a 150 MB. Yeah, it's a 150 MB app. And after I've done with the installation, I've given all the app permissions to breach your privacy and etc. Yeah, so yeah, you need to take all of those. And after you have set the account in the DJ Go app. And you are ready to go. So I'll quickly go on how to stabilize the skin. Now this is stabilized to the optimum position which I could achieve. But I'll demonstrate how, how did I achieve this. So there are two knobs. One which is over here. This controls the distance of this clamp towards right or towards left. And the other one is over here. Okay, this one. This one controls the arm direction. Okay. So yeah. This can go over here and go inside. This is the arm length that we can extend. So now I have destabilized the gimbal. 
And as you can see, it's filling towards the right. And I will also do something like this so it will tilt forwards. Yeah, see, it's tilting a little forward, right? So, nothing, you just have to open this knob and this has your tool and see that you find the sweet spot that the gimbal stays as it was before. So I'll do it. So this position is set. So I'll rock the arm knob by screwing it again. And uh, now with the clamp now and this is fine too. Right? And this is acceptable. So I'll again screw the clamp now also. So why you need to do this because the more stabilized your phone is the less battery your motors will spend and you get normal battery life. See if the phone would have been like this, then the motors over here would have to do a lot sorry over here would have to do a lot of job to keep it like this. Like right? it's working against the you know top of that and the weight of the phone. So yeah. And one thing, my phone is a little big so I had to remove my cover. Uh, it's I think bigger than the iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so yeah, I tried doing it with the cover and it was not balancing it. It was hitting this like this. This thing was coming. It was hitting with it because the phone had thing inside. So yeah, now let's power it on. Uh, hey guys, so I'll be testing the Osmo awesome Air 2 right now in real life conditions. So we're going down to Ornamental Circle. Right, Lijay, right, Lijay. Asinaka, guys, all of you don't, don't know Asinaka. It's an area in Chambur where all the petroleum refineries are situated and all petroleum refinery colonies are there. On the left, we have EPCL. It's a school kid standing out there. On the right, there would be a water petroleum clubhouse. As you can see in the front, we have the monorail station. There. Yeah. So this is the Har Petroleum Sports Club. As you can see, it's the roads are not that good. Still the video is coming out so soon and I'm happy with it. So here what I've done is I've taken a time lapse. Uh, in the DJ Vo app the time lapse comes as a default 60 frames per second. And I've taken a handheld time lapse seeing out of the window of the car. So on the left I have the time lapse just taken out from the camera and the, on the right I have it stabilized in the Google Photos app. So you can see how other results compared to the raw footage that came out from the DJI Go app. Okay. So the next mode is called M Hyperlapse in the app but I like to call it as static hyperlapse because the gimbal stays still but you can select the frames from which the gimbal pans. So yeah, this is a scene from Jimmy Boyd near Ornival Circle and this was taken for half an hour 
and as you can see I had circa 3 frames and the camera pans it as per according to the time. The next is the standard hyperlapse I would like to call as, as dynamic hyperlapse. Over here this is the raw footage that came from the Go app. The next footage you will see is being the stabilized version. You will see a little distortion of warping behind the shadow library of the RBI building. So yeah, that's it. So this footage right here is shot by my back camera. Uh, it's been recorded at 1080 at 60 fps. Uh, as you can see, I've set the follow mode on my mother's backpack, and I'm walking, and I've set the gimbal on the walk mode. So you can see how smooth the video appears to be. If it not, if it had not been for this gimbal, then the video would have come too shaky. So yeah, that's how the gimbal bundled with the Mi A1 makes the video, and it has still not lost the focus on the back part. It's by now I realized that I had made the backpack as the target and not my mother's face. So now what I'm going to do is just right now yeah I delete the face tracking I delete the tracking and I set my tracking to my mother's face. And yeah and it's now searching and it comes back. Okay. So yeah that's how it's done. I will touch upon the reasons why, should, why you should not or should get this gimbal. I will start with reasons why you should not. If you are new to videography, uh, you might not know about the differences between time lapses and hyper lapses. And you cannot, you know, make the most use of this gimbal. So, what I would suggest is like you get this Gora record. I got this for rupees 600 in the past year, like a year ago. Like I I fell in love with this because I could shoot time lapses that I cannot do before, right? The other reason is this gimbal has USB A Type Pro to charge your phone while recording. But actually, the designers did not leave any space to plug in the wire. The bottom of the phone is right next to the support, and there is no space. There is literally no space between. Them. So yeah, that's the two main reasons why you should not get this gimbal. Huh. The reason why you should get this gimbal is one, this face tracking. This feature I love the most. I had never experienced such feature in it like before. So yeah, this is top class. I would recommend everyone to get this one because of this feature. Like you can see around five to six percent of the screen area and it's still tracking me and as I go left the back it's keep searching me and yeah and it's still tracking yeah, that's the one reason the second reason is that you guys would have might have a DSLR with single back my might have two phones an A phone and a B phone by A phone I mean like uh, good camera, good chipset, good RAM, good storage, everything else like that. Okay, so my iPhone is this 13 MP plus 13 MP dual camera. Runs on Android 8, stock Android, 625 snap snapdragon chipset, and can shoot 4K 30 FPS. Right now it's shooting from the front camera, so it's 5 MP. On the other hand, if you talk about a DSLR, it cannot do 4K. Only the high end cameras can do it, and it starts at around a lack about okay whereas this phone is for around 13,000 plus with this gimbal for around 9,000 this one is around 28,000 setup and this is fantastic one hand you have DSLR and on the other hand you have two phones you can definitely take videos out of one phone and when the juice is out of the other one phone then you can swap back put the phone which has this chart on the power bank put the other phone on recording so yeah that way you won't miss out on moments which are important right so that's the two main reasons why you should get the same so yeah guys that's the end of this review if you have any questions regarding this symbol you can drop your questions in the comment section below and hope you guys enjoyed this uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next one